we throw around the word hero a lot, uh, but over the last few weeks, one thing that's become abundantly clear, these are heroes, putting their lives on the line, along with their families every day, to keep us safe. This morning, we just wanted to say thank you. These are the faces of the women and men who are saving lives, saving families, and saving futures. These are the brave nurses of Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City, the American epicenter of COVID-19. When we come here and put our gear on, we know that we're walking into a war zone together and we have each other's backs. I have cried many a times before coming to work. I have cried many a times after getting home from work. And while we um, see that we are flattening the curve, the ICUs are still filled with very, very sick patients. So devoted to their patients, their concern never stops. On your days off when you're not there, you're thinking about those patients. Did not sleep very well last night, as you can imagine. I'm exhausted, my head hits the pillow, and then I start thinking about our patients. Right now, it actually like makes me want to go in more. Like I almost feel like, oh, put me back, tag me in, put me back on the field. You know, it's, it's like, it's really indescribable. And during these terrible times, they are not just dispensing medical care, they are dispensing compassion. You really get attached to these people and on a whole different level now because these people don't have their family members. I think what's been challenging is um, seeing patients go through this alone and trying to connect them with their family. Am I even a friendly face to them with all this PPE? How can I apologize for not being enough because their family is not here? doing their best to fill that void. One of the patients that we had, uh, they found out it was her birthday today. So they obtained a cake from the cafeteria and we sang happy birthday to her. Just a few minutes ago, they announced overhead that they were discharging another patient. So we're on our way to the lobby. The excitement is electric when a patient is discharged and they celebrate just like any family would. COVID patient Ramdeo Rade was in the Lenox Hill ICU for 10 days. He says his survival is a miracle. His family sent us a message for the nurses. We just want to let you know that your, your compassion, your kindness, and your optimism do not go unnoticed. We appreciate you. And the nurses appreciate the endless love and support they are receiving from the community and beyond. Every meal they send, or every clap they clap, pot and pan they bang together. Every ounce of your love is appreciated by us. And as much as you appreciate us, we appreciate you for reminding us that we've chosen the right path. A path chosen only by the brave. Care for one, that's love. Care for all, that's nursing. That's their motto. So every night, over the last few weeks, there's this thing called the clap out. Roughly 7 o'clock, everyone in New York City, they go outside, they clap, they bang pots and pans to thank nurses. A lot of these nurses miss that because they're inside working. This morning, we wanted to recreate it. So you know who else wanted to say thank you? The FDNY, the NYPD. First responders saying thank you to first responders. We're all in this together. Talk to, to two nurses. This is Andrew. Andrew, And this is Cassidy. Cassidy's the assistant nurse manager here. Andrew works in the ICU. We're socially distancing. Let me start with you, Cassidy, because I know that you know when, when patients first come in, you're one of the first faces that they see. They come in. A lot of them are nervous. A lot of them are scared. I would imagine, especially in the last few weeks. From time to time, you're probably a little scared too. Where do you find the strength? How do you 
how do you deal with these patients who are coming in who are so frightened and also so, so much frightened? So when we walk onto the floor, it's stressful. There's a lot of anxiety and fear, devastation. But then I take a step back and I look around at our team and it's truly inspirational. Everyone is smiling. They are so positive and we support each other to take the best care of our patients. So I think we really find the courage in each other um, because we know we're in this together and we're going to get through it together. Can I just say, by the way, I am struck by the energy that these nurses yeah! Some of them on the ship. About 1,200 nurses work here at this particular, this particular hospital. Andrew, you're in the ICU. You are uh, dealing with the sickest of the sick, uh, COVID-19 patients. A lot of these folks, they end up on ventilators. A lot of them don't come off. Over the last few weeks, what's it been like for you personally? What's it been like for, for the nurses in the ICU ward specifically? Sure. Um, I think it's been very tough. You know, um, as nurses, we are at the patient's bedsides all the time. And I think one of the things as nurses that we really take a lot of hope for is when we are able to see families be able to support our, you know, patients at their critical moments. And it's been very difficult because they haven't been able to be there. But I think one of the greatest things is that all of these people here are there every single day helping to take care of these people. And, you know, we always say that, you know, one of, a lot of people are calling us heroes, but like one of the biggest things for us, I think, is that our patients and their families are our heroes right now. And I think every single day I see nurses at the bedside really just telling them, keep fighting. One of the things, this came up last week, I forget where I saw it or read it, but it's this idea that you guys are essential, and you've always been essential. I think now just maybe a lot of folks are realizing just how essential all of you are. Thank you. And you've got the, the guys in bold, the FBNY over here. Cassidy, what's it like seeing first responders thanking first responders? Here, the neighborhood support us and it is inspiring it's uplifting and they give us the courage and the strength to keep going and every night these guys come out to support us um, on their horses in their trucks and we just can't thank them enough for all of their support it has kept us going Thanks, guys. Again, we, we know you guys missed it every night a lot of you so we wanted to try to re recreate some of the love this morning thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you. And in addition, we've also we've also brought you some nice chocolate over here. Just <laughs> make sure you grab some chocolate before you go. Thank you. 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 FBNY NYPD, thank you as well. Uh, so if you know a nurse, if you know a nurse, thank a nurse today. Yes. Thank a nurse today. Yes. That was awesome, Craig. We love those nurses back there. Thank that was beautiful. Thank you, Craig. Thank you They're to awesome. our nurses.